Yo, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 15 online game. It's the Super Bowl 48 rematch, Seahawks versus Broncos. Last time, the Broncos, they tried to put up a fight, but the Seahawks just completely destroyed them. So this game, we'll see if Peyton Manning could at least salvage a good finish in this one. You see third down and 10 early on, or third down and 8. We find Demaryius Thomas in the middle of the field for a first down. And, yeah, so that game didn't work out too well, but this game right now is working out fine for Peyton Manning, who finds his new target, Emmanuel Sanders, one-on-one -on -one with, I'm not sure, some cornerback, I think Lane, and um, thankfully Emmanuel Sanders gets that one for a touchdown, and we take the lead early on. So, yeah, we'll see how, you know, the Broncos do, but they're on the road against the Seahawks, their 12th man, their Legion of Boom, their Percy Harvin, Russell Wilson, Marshawn Lynch-led offense. So, I mean, good luck to the Broncos. We'll see how it goes. But the Broncos have definitely made some improvements this season. They have DeMarcus Ware, Aqib Tlaib. Of course, Tlaib is replacing um, Dominic rogers Camardi, but you can argue that Tlaib is probably the better cornerback between them, um, him and um, rogers Camardi. so... That's good for them. They lost no Sean Moreno. And, you know, just a few key misses. But for the most part, and they lost Eric Decker. But they do have some big gains mainly on the defensive end. So, we'll see how that goes. Seahawks, not too many big gains. The big thing is that Percy Harvin can hopefully play and hopefully make catches like that for the Seahawks. I don't know how he made that. It looked like I was all over that for the pick. But instead, he gets the first down my opponent does. This is a subscriber game. So, um, this is actually a PS4 game. Let me mention that real quick. This is PS4 here. This is the second ever game I played on the PS4. So, yeah. So, that's the whole... um background story to this game and you know hoping it should be a good game because the Broncos are a really good team and the odds that the Broncos are getting whipped twice by the same team even if it's on the road like that last time it was just a neutral site in um, New York it's not that high it's Peyton Manning there's no way they get I don't know they're gonna win but they're definitely not gonna get whooped bad time you know big time you know so here fourth and one my opponent decides you know he's gonna go for it his own one yard line as many people would he goes fullback dive and I don't really have much of an answer I don't really have much of you know good goal line defense so far sugar definitely doesn't work in goal line too well so you know it's not really working out too well for me I just came out in some random goal line formation hope for the best and the best didn't really happen for me it happened pretty good for him though here you see we find Demarius Thomas on a little um, spot route there next play we go for Demarius Thomas again definitely not a good throw absolutely not a good throw but we were somehow able to throw it over Cam Chancellor's head Cam Chancellor didn't even react to the ball there so Demarius Thomas gets the first down that's the height of Demarius and getting lucky so we'll take our breaks when we can get it. We find Emmanuel Sanders. Another thing about this game is, as you see, somehow I don't know how this is rough and uh, um, unnecessary roughness. This is the dumbest penalty I've ever seen. Like really, though, Sherman would just make an attack when they call it necessary roughness. Not like he horse collared to do out of bounds or anything. He just made a tackle on the guy. I don't know, man. That's some weird logic, but um. Yeah, I am running a different playbook in this game. Usually, I run the 49ers playbook. This time, I'm running the Broncos playbook. And so far, it's working out all right. We find Emmanuel Sanders here in third down and 12, wide open all by himself. You know, thankfully, I had enough time in the pocket from the three-man pass rush to, you know, buy my time and find Emmanuel Sanders. Next play, we go to Sanders once again. We're going to Sanders quite a bit. Ten seconds left. I call a screen pass here. I was hoping I could at least get out of bounds here, but I couldn't with Wes Welker, and that forced us to burn our last time out. So, we try to take one shot the end zone. Unfortunately, that was really not a good idea because Earl Thomas could easily intercept that. So we'll gladly take our field goal here. So, you know, I'm all good taking the 10 7 lead in the halftime. Unfortunately, he has walked him out of half. So he has a chance to take the lead or at least tie the game on this drive. So we're just going to have to rely on that new and improved defense that I mentioned before and see if they can get the stop here. See if they can hold up beast mode here. And there is Von Miller. Of course, Von Miller missed quite a bit on last season. I believe he missed the Super Bowl and pretty much the whole playoff run as well with a torn ACL. And like I mentioned, they got to keep to leave. And there's to leave getting the pick on second down 23. And the keep to leave is somehow taking this one for six. Did you guys see that? That offensive lineman or whoever that was, could have tackled me, could have just pushed me backward, pushed me anywhere, but the direction he sent me, and he sent me with full speed in that direction, that worked out so perfectly for me, I don't know how it happened, I'll take it, 
But, I mean, I just don't understand how in the world it happened. And it's just, you know, really lucky play. This was not luck. That was skill. The rookie, Roby, getting the nice pick there. Trying to take it for six. Trying to swerve Russell Wilson there. But um, the offensive lineman is able to catch me. This play, I caught a bubble screen by accident. So, I put a zigger on Julius Thomas. And somehow, KJ Wright gets the one-hand pick. And KJ Wright is going to outrun Peyton Manning. He's taking this one for six. And we were at the goal line. And this is a game changer. But here comes Demi. Marius Thomas out of nowhere getting the tackle. Check out the hustle by Demarius Thomas getting that pick, uh, that play. Next play, we almost get the pick. Second time, we somehow miss a pick. That time with TJ Ward. So, you know, the Demarius Thomas hustle play is working out for us because now it's a third down and 10, which he does not get to Harvin. See, he's been targeting Harvin quite often in this game. That time, he Kind of was open, but Harvin had to go up and get the catch there. And Akeem Tlaib was able to force the ball out of his hands, forcing himself for a field goal there. So, you know, Demarius Thomas saved us four points. So, thank you, Demarius, for that. And, oh, that was not a good play. Like I said, new playbook. I'm getting used to the plays and stuff like that. I tried running out route here in second down, but I ran it on Richard Sherman. And Sherman is taking it for six and two costly turnovers. And we give up a tie ball game. It could have been, what, a 7-24 to game. We scored that goal line conversion. Instead, now it's a tie ball game because I threw that just fatal out route there. And I'm not sure the out route would have worked if I threw it a second earlier because it looked like, you know, Wes Walker made his cut a little bit earlier. I was kind of late on it. But Sherman straight up undercut that. So I'm, not, I'm pretty sure I didn't have a chance against Sherman. Maybe maybe. Maybe against another cornerback, you know. So here's second down and two. I'm trying to redeem myself on this drive. Going deep again for Sanders. Oh, that play worked last time for a touchdown. It looks like it might have worked for a big game. But it's a nice swat there by Lane that time. My opponent went for the swat there. And then third down, I tried to run some goofy FL screen. I should have never done that. I don't know why I did it. But, um, you know, it's we ended up punting the ball because of it. And here we are. Like I mentioned, it could have been a 7-24 game, or at least a 7-20 game. Instead, it's a tie ball game, but thankfully the defense comes through. Von Miller with the interception, big-time interception, when he had a chance to just keep the momentum going on his side. Now here we are in, you know, field goal range right now, trying to punch it in for touchdown range as the fourth quarter approaches us. And this dude, you know, um, this is my guy Heat. I've known him for a little bit, you know. He's been in some of my streams and stuff like that. So, me and Heath are cool. But this is, I think, the first game we played. So, right now, I'm trying to get the upper edge here. First down and goal. Peyton Manning all the time trying to find someone. But absolutely no one could be found. I all but have a running play. And that pet play action was definitely not a good play at the goal line. So, second down, we get a few yards. Make it a third down and manageable. Third down and nine. We come out running the ball here. And, unfortunately, Ronnie Hillman can't punch it in. And that's, like, I was, like, not really feeling Monty Ball this game since Monty Ball is not a shifty running back that I usually prefer him at in over power backs. But then I actually had Hillman in the game instead of Monty Ball when I could have used Ball to try to truck Earl Thomas there instead. You know, you're not really going to truck Earl Thomas, so I was going to try it anyways. So we take the field goal on fourth and two. We could have went for it, but I didn't feel too comfortable with the new playbook. As you see, I can't even tell who that is that made that diving swap but thank you for it then third down on four there's someone else he part is making plays out here now fourth and four comes up he is going for a 242 left in the game doesn't want to punt the ball off since i could you know potentially kill the rest of the clock so he goes for it and he takes off with russell wilson deadly play there looked like we had everything shut down but of course you cannot forget about wilson as trevathan drops a potential game ending pick right after the two minute warning hits a third down and 10 coming up he throws it up for robert turbin who comes down with Chris Harris completely misses the swat. Turbin gets the first down. Now Marshawn is running the ball. He has a chance to win the game. Clock not too much of a factor, but as you see, he puts on two clock here. So, you know, he's try he's definitely trying to make sure I don't touch the ball for the rest of this game. You see, he runs the ball with Marshawn Lynch here, getting the first down. 2-27 to 27 yard line, but here's where he makes the mistake. He doesn't take two clock off, and two clock chews the clock all the way down to 12 seconds left at the 27 yard line. He has a running play from Marshawn that gets some yards, but since the two clock was on, he doesn't have no time to try to go for the touchdown here. So, eight seconds left. This is his last chance to try to win the game right now. Let's see what Russell Wilson's got. Wilson looking for Zach Miller. Miller catches it at the nine yard line. He's got to call a timeout, which he eventually does with one second left. Cut it real close there. And he's going to go for the field goal here. Tie the game up. Ragnar trying to just go for the win right now. And the true clock definitely hurt him. But nonetheless, he's able to take this game to overtime. So overtime, we got the coin toss. And I know I'm picking heads for this coin toss, man, because Tails lost last time. I'm taking heads this time. 
and heads wins the coin toss. So Peyton Manning versus the Legion of Boom with the game on the line. Who comes through in the clutch in overtime? Or can Caldwell just return this kick by himself? No, he cannot. So we start off with the 21-yard line. The epic music back into play. Bring out Ronnie Hillman. Hillman can't get much, unfortunately. Second down nine brought up. Peyton Manning looking at Demarius Thomas. And Demarius Thomas making the great catch here with the quarterback straight all over him. And we have to be very accurate with Peyton Manning right now. That was a risky throw, but we were able to get it over the user of my opponent. And we we're able to hit the little stopping pops and make a few like three or four yards out of that play. Three or four yards extra. Bring up second down now. We run the ball. Not too much. Bring up a third down and five. Crucial play in the game. We hit Sanders on the drag. We've been going to Sanders all game long. And it looked like we didn't have the first down, but that spin move was able to get us it. Next play, Julius Thomas. Wide open in the middle of the field. One on one with a safety cam chancellor. And Julius Thomas easily wins that battle. Here we go to screen pass for West Welker. Welker can't get much though. Welker actually loses a yard, it looks like. Second down and ten. We run the ball with Monty Ball. Trying to get a few yards once again. Trying to make it a third down and manageable, which we do. Minute 15 left in overtime hitting Sanders again on the drag and Sanders barely gets the first down we needed four and we got exactly four next play Monty Ball taking the handoff and Ball almost all the way to the five yard line now we're five yards away from taking the win we're calling Ball's number on the same play but this time the Seahawks D line has it completely stuffed 17 seconds left Peyton Manny second down looking at Monty Ball on the screen and Ball with Sherman all over him scores the touchdown Monty Ball stiff arms Richard Sherman into the end zone and wins the game for the Broncos. An absolutely epic finish. Monty Ball versus Sherman. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a storybook ending to a game right there. You can't script things like that. It just happened that way. So, great game to my opponent. I had a lot of fun playing with him when I lost, but... um. Thankful we came out the win, man. So, um, yeah, leave a like in the video for that crazy finish. Subscribe for more Man 15 games like this. We got a bunch of games like this, and I'll catch you guys next time.